The Pittsburgh Steelers are in a strong position with an 8-2 record and a two-game lead in the AFC North. Their recent win over the Baltimore Ravens showcased their resilience, but it also highlighted a glaring issue, struggles in the red zones. Despite consistently moving the ball downfield and scoring points in 22 consecutive quarters, a league best streak, the team has failed to capitalize when it matters most, inside the opposing 20-yard line. Last Sunday's 18-16 win against the Ravens was a prime example. The Steelers reached the red zone four times, but failed to score a single touchdown, settling instead for six field goals by Chris Boswell. Currently, their red zone touchdown conversion rate ranks 30th in the league at 44.4%. And over the last three games, that figure has plummeted to 25%. Quarterback Russell Wilson has been both a strength and a point of scrutiny. While his ability to throw deep has been vital in keeping the offense productive, his decision-making in tight spaces has drawn criticism. Against the Ravens, Wilson threw an interception on an ill-advised lob to tight end Darnell Washington and was sacked four times, bringing his total to 11 sacks over the past three weeks. Critics like former NFL quarterback Dan Orlovsky have labeled him the worst red zone quarterback in the NFL, citing his QBR of 8 in such situations. Offensive coordinator Arthur Smith has acknowledged the need for improvement, noting that while defenses like Baltimore's have been exceptional in countering the Steelers' strengths, the team must execute better. Clean route spacing, effective play calling, and successful early down plays are essential to turning red zone trips into touchdowns. Fortunately, the Steelers' defense has stepped up, ranking 8th in the league in red zone defense, allowing touchdowns on only 48.3% of opponents' trips. This balance has helped mitigate offensive inefficiencies, but the Steelers know improvement is necessary for sustained success. Facing the Cleveland Browns next, a team allowing touchdowns in the red zone at a 63.3% rate presents an opportunity to make strides. Wilson, who has historically been effective in red zone scenarios with a 94.1 career passer rating, emphasized focusing on fundamentals and maintaining a touchdown first mentality. If the Steelers can align their offensive execution with their defensive prowess, they'll not only continue their winning streak, but also solidify their status as Super Bowl contenders. Stay subscribed for more videos.